Welcome back, this is WBalls03 and this is Let's Play Dragon Warrior Part 7. And as you can see, I jumped up a few levels, I'm up to level 17 now. And there are my stats. I have the same uh, weapons and stuff, and armor, and shields, so nothing changed there. But there's my stats. I've learned two new spells, Repel and Heal More. I learned uh, Repel at... Uh, Repel at uh, level 15 and heal more at level 17 and uh, repel is basically just like fairy water um, if you cast it uh, weaker enemies won't attack you um, it doesn't really work good against stronger enemies they'll still attack you but uh, it keeps away weaker enemies and it only works outside as far as I know and heal more everyone knows what that is that just heals you more so, than heals so it re usually restores around 40 to 60 hit points, if uh, I remember correctly. But I'm here at the Swamp Cave. I'm going to rescue the princess now. And here is the enemy guarding her, a new enemy, the Green Dragon. And he's defeated. And as you can see, Hillmore uh, usually takes uh, 10 magic points. So. So cast outside, then return. And this is what she gives me, and basically, it tells me uh, how many experience points I have, so I don't got to visit the king anymore if I don't have to, so... So, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to travel um, south of the mountain cave to the ruined town of uh, Hoskis. Um, so... Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I will meet you back, just south of the uh, mountain uh, cave. I'm back, and as you can see, I'm right by the mountain cave. So let's head south. And here's the town of Hawksness. Well, I guess that's how you say it. I'm not sure. And one of the, a lot of uh, the strongest enemies in the game are in this uh, deserted town. So. So what you want to do is head over to these uh, trees right here in the corner. And you face an axe knight. So the first thing you want to do is cast stop spell. Hopefully it works. 
It works. And that's the reason why you cast it, because he likes to cast sleep. The good thing is, he'll still cast it, so it'll give you time to attack. And he's defeated. And you want to search? Edric's armor. So, good thing about Edric's armor, it protects you more than a magic armor, and it protects you from poisonous swamps, and for every step you take, you gain one HP, so one hit point. Unlike the magic armor where you gain one hit point every couple steps. This is every step, so... And there's a new enemy, the Star Wyvern. It is a stronger version of the uh, regular wiring. It's even stronger than the Magi wiring that I didn't face yet. So it's the strongest form. And it likes to cast Hillmore all the time, which is a pain. Long fight. And there's another new enemy, the Rogue Scorpion, the strongest form of Scorpion. And I don't know if I came across this guy yet, but this is the knight. And it's a weaker form than of the axe knight that I just beat to get Edric's armor. He likes to cast stop spell. And here's a new enemy, the Demon Knight. A stronger version, I think, of the, uh, strongest version of the Skeletons. Even stronger than the Wraith Knight. Sometimes it's hard to hit, too. And here's a new enemy, the wizard, the strongest uh, version of the uh, magician and warlock. So, he can hit pretty hard. He casts uh, Hurt more, which inflicts like 20 damage or more. 24. And as you can see, the swamp doesn't hurt me anymore. Uh, 
uh, Edric's uh, token is down here somewhere. But you know what? I'll uh, find it in the next ep episode. See you later.